Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, JST Blessed. Thank you for taking your time to come to this channel to listen to me. Thank you for the likes, the love and the subscriptions. Please don't forget to sh share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also don't forget to share to your friends as well. So today we're going to talk about how I and a chartered accountancy qualification in the UK for technically for free and got paid to earn a qualification, a chartered accountancy qualification for free. I hope that through this people can understand what kind of opportunities are out there in the accountancy profession and potentially this might be something that is also available in other um, kind of profession so it gets people to think about how they can earn these kinds of qualifications. Uh, so yes, so let's dive right into it. So it's going to be a bit of a chit chat. Um, I'm going to just talk about my experience, which might potentially be different from someone else's experience, but on a broader category, that's what most people go through um, to get the qualification. There are other routes that you can do, like you can pay for it. But for me, I got it for free and I was paid to earn it. So today I have my CA qualification. My certificate is right in it. Um, so, so basically the long documents, um, really long and tall to show that yes, I am now a chartered accountant. Uh, yeah, mainly that. Um, so <laughs> basically, um, how did I end that? So a bit of background information. So I started with SEMA um, in Ghana and I was um, paying towards this qualification. And then by the grace of God, I came to the UK um, to study. And whilst I was in the UK, a friend, and this is why I always talk about your network, um, being your net worth, a friend did recommend to me that I try to apply to big four accounting firms because they actually pay you to get a qualification and give you time out to actually go and study. So I thought, okay, that's actually quite impressive uh, because those fees are quite expensive because you have to buy the books, you have to buy, um, you have to, sorry, pay for your examination fees and things like that. So it, it's, it's quite a lot of money. Um, but if you're in the UK and you're thinking of accounting, you're thinking of qualifying, you're looking for a, a professional qualification that you can do, I would recommend ICAS. <laughs> ACCs of Chartered Accountants Scotland. Um, but I think ICAS has a different route um, compared to like ACCA, ICAEW. I think ICAEW and ICAS is quite similar. But um, I, ACCA, you, you can basically, even whilst in school, you can just do that on your own. Um, so I think I'll just briefly explain my, my experience. So I applied um, to a big four firm and basically through that big four firm what they do is they pay you and they give you time out to go and study um i would say that even though it's for free you need to put in the hard work it's it's basic i remember the first um I think after TC, which is the test of competence which is i think my i think they've changed the 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 whole program a little bit but it's mainly in three levels so you have your test of competence test of the second level is test of professional skills and the third level is test of professional expertise which is normally called tpe um so the first level when i wrote it which is quite a while now thinking about it um it, it, that was like 2010 so yeah a decade after so so yeah when i wrote um that it was five papers i was i think mainly objectives um that you had to do um you had to study all of those fives you had papers in the morning and in the afternoon um different subjects and then it was the exams was done within three days um which is quite interesting that they, they give you all the support they give you all the books and um, they pay for your fees 
um and everything so it's it's so what i want to encourage people is to you can actually get a chartered accountancy profession without paying for it you sign up get a big four firm i think even mid-tier firms mid-tier accounting firms as well will pay um but my experience is with a big four firm and they will pay you um and then basically pay you 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 be on your normal salary you be employed um and then you get this training as well i think that's one good thing about big four and i guess mid-tier firms as well so basically you get signed up um you can actually get exemptions if you want but i think i didn't want to get exemptions um because i just thought I, I used to study in ghana so i i just want to see how it is from the scratch i want to understand how the the the, the accounts and the exams and everything is like here but i understand that if you did some masters you can get some exemptions some account accounting related masters business management and things you could potentially get some exemptions so it's something that if you want you can look into but for in, in, in my case i didn't do that so one thing that you you do you have your test of competence once you pass that then you move on to the second level there are, i think in icas I, I don't call me here but i think um if you fail some of these exams there's opportunity to reset these exams um i must say even though it's for free there's a lot of hard work there's a lot of hard work that you need to put into it there's a lot of days that you it's it's teary and you feel like giving up but insofar as you have that big vision you have that big plan and that big goal to achieve i think you put in um the effort so it's basically three levels um of exams um t tp tc test of competence t tps tpe and then also you have to do like an ethics sort of ex ex ethics exam or essay of the sort and then key thing though about professional qualification it's it's a bit different from school you have to have practical experience and that's the good thing with signing up with one of these accounting firms that will actually so sometimes you are studying towards the the exams and then sometimes you're actually back in the office or if you're in order you're going out to clients um to order them and so this gives you practical experience because you need to build from the last time I checked, 450 days when you're doing something quite related to the profession, either in order, tax, advisory, or things like that. So it, it's 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 all an authorized employer already knows the, the the route and things like that. So it's it's quite handy. Um, and basically, you can get your qualification for free basically you can be a chartered accountant for free you get paid to do that i hope that um this um speaks to people who are still thinking about what kind of profession they need to get into those who are thinking about professional qualifications i hope this um, video is useful to you um if you have any questions i'll leave my email address i'm happy um to talk to people on how the how the process was um as well thank you and as usual nehemiah a 10 b the joy of the lord is our strength god bless have a great week ahead bye